Welcome to Channel 18 News. I'm Jim Rogers. According to Cheryl Fulcher, District Clerk, the jury panel summoned to appear Monday, June 19th at 9 a.m. for the 62nd Judicial District Court has been canceled. Hopkins County deputies were alerted to the location of Jeremy Randall Hill, age 26, of Sulphur Springs. He was wanted for violation of parole. Hill was at a residence on Farm to Market Road 1567 East in Hopkins County. When the deputies arrived, Hill jumped from the west deck on the house and fled into the woods northeast of the residence. Deputies gave chase. Deputies set a perimeter around the area. Bystanders at the residence told deputies that Hill was wearing a white t-shirt and blue jeans. With the description of his clothing, deputies were able to spot him. He emerged from the woods and deputies chased him through several pastures to the edge of their perimeter where Hill was apprehended. Hill is in Hopkins County Jail, held for violation of parole and evading arrest detention. He was arrested in 2015, 2016, and now 2017 for violation of parole. Two vehicles on the shoulder of State Highway 154 at Restlawn Cemetery caught the attention of Hopkins County deputies at 10 p.m. Thursday night. The deputy thought it might be a public service motorist assist with a problem on one of the vehicles. Instead, it led to an arrest. One of the individuals at the scene became nervous and began to shake. The deputies requested a search of the vehicle, which was denied them. During conversation, the second deputy that was present noted a clear plastic baggie sitting on the grass near one of the vehicles. The baggie contained three Xanax pills. The canine unit was called and made a positive alert on the vehicle. Jeffrey Edward Moore, age 25, of Sulphur Springs, claimed possession of the baggie and its contents. He's in Hopkins County Jail. We'll be saying farewell this Saturday night to reigning Dairy Festival Queen Sadie Grace Evans at the pageant. And this summer we'll say goodbye to her as she heads off to Belmont College in Nashville to pursue a degree and a career in music and music business. Let's meet Sadie. Good morning. Hi. And you don't have your crown for very much longer, huh? I don't. Just about 24 more hours. <laughs> Although you really do get to keep the crown, don't you? Yes, secretly I get to keep the crown. <laughs> I think they have plenty of crowns there uh, through our Dairy Festival board. They do wonderful things for this in this program. Oh my goodness, the board has, they have been just fantastic. I yeah. love them. They have made it such a joy. They are seasoned folks. They know what they want the pageant to portray, and they just work with all the personalities that they get. Just oh, so beautiful. Absolutely. Bring everybody out. Yes, for sure. I love them. Yes. You, well, tell us some of the things you've gotten to do during your year as Dairy Festival Queen. Well, of course, I go to ribbon cuttings, which is great to be involved in the community. Um, the parades are so much fun. I love getting to see the little kids, the ones that will wave at you when they see, oh, the Queen's coming. It's just the sweetest thing, and it's so rewarding. Mm -hmm. Especially little girls really think that they want to be that person. Yes. And I, I think there's one in your household. <laughs> My little sister, yes, Addie. <laughs> Do you think she might want to set her sights on Dairy Festival Queen? You know, I think that could definitely be in her future. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we know you from drama. We know you from high school and from all your music and singing all different places around here. Yes, ma'am. And what of all your talents have you selected to do in your future life? I'm going to try and pursue my music and singing. So I'm going to be going to Belmont University this fall to pursue music and music business. Okay. And from there, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. I just know that I want to be in the music business. Well, I believe that you'll make many connections. Belmont is where? It's in Nashville, Tennessee. What an exciting place to go to. <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, somewhere in your life, you decided that's what you wanted to do. I mean, of course, you probably always sang all your life. I think that's sort of in your family. But when did you kind of think or did someone suggest to you you could do this for a career? Well, I think a few summers ago, I started singing at Opry's. And of course, I got the opportunity to come out to the Riley Springs Jamboree, which was so sweet, a community thing. Um, I think in that process, of course, I've always loved performing. But it just kind of hit me as I was performing more and more that 
this is what I love to do. How could I ever not do it? Mm -hmm. So. So true. Well, how did you then find a vehicle to take you to where you are right now, ready to uh, start college? Well, I started working with Septian Entertainment Group out of Dallas my freshman year, and they have completely changed my entire music outlook and process. It, they've been completely amazing. Uh, you can apply to Septian, and they select some students. Well, so I'm in the, it's called the master program, okay. which is like the top 15 artists okay. who um, audition for that program. And other than that, it's open to anyone. Okay. So it's an amazing, amazing opportunity. You've been working with Septian for five years? I Maybe, I think about four, okay. four years. Okay. And you're not done yet. How does Septian enter into your summer? I have a performance actually next weekend at the House of Blues with Septian, our big end of year showcase, which I'm so excited about. It's going to be absolutely a blast. And then hopefully I will be going on a trip with them to L.A. in July to work with people in the industry. Wow. You'll be meeting some important people. Uh, when you sing in House of Blues this coming weekend, when will that be? That is Sunday, June 25th. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Don't be surprised if you see some Hopkins County people in the audience. Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> uh, Hopkins County, their support has been so amazing. Through theater, through then switching and just being a singer, and even, you know, Dairy Festival. I could not have done it without this community. <laughs> I really think that being in Dairy Festival, whether we become queen or not, or just participate as a participant, it really kind of alters your life in a very positive way. I think absolutely. Definitely. You see different sides of the community, and it's all wonderful. And just the extra support that I've gotten from being Dairy Festival queen has been, I can't even explain it. It's amazing. Well, hand in hand with that is your final year, your senior year at Sulphur Springs High School. Yes. Tell us a little bit what, about what you did this year. Well, let's see. I was student body vice president. Of course, I was very busy, but you know, you try to spend as much time with your friends as possible because senior year, it's a little, you know, bittersweet, but it was a great year. So fun. And Again, a lot of the community coming into play with several different things that we were able to do. Sure. It was really an, an amazing senior year. Your mom and grandmother and your whole family is very supportive of the things that you want to do. And oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. They are, they are crazy and they are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell people that you are going to be performing something you wrote at Dairy Festival pageant this Saturday night, so please be there. Uh, yes. I am performing an original song. It's called Over. I co-wrote it with Scott Byrne at Septian. Okay. So, any hints about the song? Any hints? Well, I, I keep my country. Keep my country with me. Um... It is, it's kind of, you know, holding out hope, which is a little ironic since it's called over, but, you know. Okay. I'm very excited about it. I'm oh, very, love, very excited. I would love, love to get to see that and hear that. Let's talk about the Dairy Festival Queen contestants. Maybe uh, some sort of, you know, you have to see a contrast between this year's group of contestants that you've been able to help through and then last year when you were one of the group of contestants learning your way along. Right. So these girls, I'm so excited to be working with them. It is an amazing opportunity. They are all so fantastic and Hopkins County is going to be lucky to have any of them. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just a completely different of course, I loved last year, and the dynamic was amazing, and getting to know each girl a little bit more than I did originally was so fantastic. And these girls, I think it's the same opportunity, only now I'm almost looking on a little bit more, of course, than last year, but I'm still in with them, and they're so inclusive and such sweet girls. Every one of them is sweet, and every one of them yes. is just outgoing and, and would be the perfect representative. They really are. It is a great group this year. And really, there is a, a whole study to that. 
of who was selected as the best one to represent Hopkins County and our dairy industry. Right. Yeah. They really, I just, I see every single one of them and I think what an amazing dairy festival queen they would make. Whenever I see your picture, and it's been there throughout most of this week, uh, a video, you can, when you click on that on kssdradio.com, <laughs> click on that, you can see the milking contest. But there you are, and you're just down there with that cow, just ready to get the milk in the bucket. Yes, Smiling ma'am. like, this is exactly where I want to be the rest of my life. You know, after that milking contest last year, I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting. I was so excited. <laughs> Well, you did pretty well. Oh, thank you very much. Let's talk a little bit more about home and your parents, your family, how you grew up. How do you think you came to where you are right now, ready to launch a career? So, my parents, Jason and Angie Evans. Hi, parents. Um, Of course, I grew up um, here my entire life. We did move away for a few months, but it's always been Sulphur Springs, Hopkins County. Um... And they've always been so supportive of everything I wanted to do. And I would not be going off to Belmont to pursue music without my family. So they've really just been amazing and supportive through every step of the way. Yeah. Um, When I see you all around town, it's always just such a pleasure to get to chat with you. And um, I know you've been encouraged to do many things. Of course, you all travel. You like to play instruments. Tell us about your music. I do. So I've been working on piano and guitar. I... I think I struggle a little bit, but I, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So hopefully I will get a little bit more comfortable and start accompanying myself soon. Mm-hmm. Well, I think in the music industry, they, from what all I hear, the newer artists have the edge when they can sing, play, and write. Absolutely. That's, that's my main goal is to be equally skilled at each of those. I think it definitely gives you a little bit of an edge. (laughs) Well, I'm sure Belmont will focus you right in in the right direction. What about painting? Do you paint? I do paint. I actually painted a lot when I was little with my grandma. And then this year, I just thought, why not take art? So I took art, and I was in there with all the freshmen, but I didn't care. And (laughs) I realized I still love painting. Mm -hmm. Probably so. you have that natural talent. Oh. Your grandmother, Rita, is really great in art. Oh, I think so, maybe. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Well, let's um, talk more about Saturday night, since, as you mentioned, it is only hours away. Yes. I cannot wait. I'm so excited to see it all come together. I know these girls have been working so hard for the past few months Mm -hmm. to get this ready, and it definitely shows in practice. I'm just sitting there so in awe of how amazing they are doing. it. You don't want to miss it. So tonight is dress rehearsal. Yes. And um, when you walk the stage for your farewell tomorrow evening, and you, I think there's a Sort of a speech. Is yes. it pre recorded? It is a pre recorded speech. It's kind of a secret. Okay. Not, well, you know, what I'm going to say. Nobody knows yet. So. But it is your way of saying thank you and how much this has meant to you. Oh, it, it, it's yes. kind of bittersweet, as you mentioned earlier. It's absolutely a thank you because I could not have done it without so many people. Well, you make a beautiful queen, and you're lovely inside and out. Well, thank you so much. And I want to thank uh, you, Sadie, for coming in today. Sadie Grace Evans. <laughs> Some of these days we may see you, who knows where, in movies, uh, hear your music on the radio. Oh, you're sweet. Thank you very much. <laughs> any facet of the music business which you plan to go and study. Yes, ma'am. Well, you just may be... An, Uh, ending, which we have just a a few more moments here, some of the things you might miss about this phase of your life, being home in Sulphur Springs and Hopkins County, which will always be home when you come back to visit. Absolutely. Well, of course, I'm going to be nine hours away from here, and I'm very big on tradition. And so Hopkins County has been so amazing in being a part of the Dairy Festival tradition and so many other aspects. It's just there's always support, there's always family, and so much love. I will definitely miss 
miss that being away. Absolutely true. It's sort of a cradle for us. We uh, always want to thank certain people and certain um, ways that we've been helped as we go along the way. I don't know if you have a particular sponsor when you're queen, already queen. I do not as queen this okay, year. Okay, so no sponsor. Um, other people, I, I know there's so much guidance and direction that you get from the Dairy Festival board, especially the ladies who help you learn how yes. to walk, how to stand, how to speak. Of course, Patricia Chase and Gina and Cindy, Linda, there's so many. I hate to start naming mm -hmm. them because then I know I'm going to miss some of them. But they are all just such great women to work with. And tickets are not any longer on sale from contestants at this point. That is correct. But I believe you can get them at the door. Is sure. that right? $10. And I think we have enough room in our newly remodeled Civic Center Auditorium, which is Sulphur Springs High School Auditorium at the Civic Center, to seat everybody. It's, so we want it's to beautiful. See. I hope to see everyone out there. I would yeah. love to. Well, thank you for coming in and sharing time with us thank this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for watching Channel 18 News. Have a great evening.